Okay, welcome coders. Uh, welcome to Refresh Coding. So, in the last video, we have seen how to create a VPC, which is your virtual private cloud. Now, we will see how we can launch an EC2 instance by use, uh, using our particular VPC which we have created. So, we will go to this VPC dashboard and here we will select this option which is launch EC2 instance. It will take us to EC2 management, management console and here we will create our uh, EC2 instance which we will which will be using our own virtual private cloud. So now I will get this uh, launch an instance VJARD which is the new dashboard. So if you want to go for older experience you can click here but right now I am fine with this so I will go ahead with this. So this will be uh, let's say my I will give this uh, EC2 instance a name. Let's say my instance and let's say my instance. Oh, sorry, I made a typo. So it will be my instance and let's say two. And after this, we will go down and we will select a OS image. So we will take a Ubuntu image and make sure you take a free tire eligible image only. Otherwise, you will be charged. So, I will select this Ubuntu server, this one. So, this is the latest one. So, I will take this Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system image. And it is available for free trial. After this, I will go down and I will take the instance, instance type. Again, instance type, I will keep, keep as t2.micro also micro only which is a free trial eligible and after this i will go down and i will either i can generate a new key pair or i can select an existing one so i will create a new key pair for this so i will give this key pair name as let's say my uh, my key and let's say this is my key uh, two, two, two. After this, I will keep it here, uh, this default, which is RSA and dot PEM, and I will say create key pair. Automatic, it will be downloaded in my system. Uh, I will use this PEM file letter for connecting with my particular EC2 instance. After this, I will go down in network settings which is a very, very important part here because we are going to configure the network settings with our VPC, which we have created. So I will simply edit it. And here we will select the VPC, which we have created. So I have created this demo VPC. So I will select this demo VPC and this uh, subnets also. After this, uh, it will ask me, I will create Two, I will select two public subnets here. So first subnet I will select here. So first is make sure I am taking the, make sure you are taking the public subnet only. So I will select this subnet and after this I will select this subnet. So two different subnets in two different availability zones and I am taking here public subnets only. If you want to create a new subnet, you can create a new subnet from here also. But right now we don't want to create. We already have two public subnets. So I have selected it in two different availability zones. So. Now, auto assign public IP. So, we will enable this option because we want to assign a public IP. Otherwise, uh, we will not be able to access it publicly. And after this, if you want to create a security group, you can create a security group here. Or you can select an existing security group. So suppose I want to create my security group here because I want to allow certain network traffic here. So that's why I will create my security group here. So I will say my security 
uh, group uh, you can give it any name not a problem and then description i will just keep it default and here i will allow certain traffic here so here i will say ssh which is tcp 22 protocol so is anywhere and i will keep it 000 so that you know it will allow all the traffic which are coming after that i will add one more security rule so here i will give uh, see http protocol you all of you know it is very very important so i will allow this uh, http uh, this uh, protocol also and here again source type i will take uh, anywhere so that it will allow all the traffic description uh, is optional i will just add one more security rule i will allow the traffic from https as well so that if some traffic is coming from through this protocol it should allow it again this custom i will give as anywhere so that it will allow all the values after this uh, everything looks good yes it is connected to my vpc demo vpc and subnets are also selected and security group is also created and uh, uh, here now i will configure the storage so in my storage i will select um, magnetic standard which is good to go when we are working with a free tier uh, you know so it is free tier eligible after this advanced details we will keep it default and number of instances we will keep it one only so that it will create only one instance at a time and then i will launch my instance so it will be creating everything security group security roles and everything and then my instances successfully initiated now i will go to instances and here you will see i have two instances one instance which i created earlier which is using the default vpc and one instance which is uh, i have created with my own uh, vpc so it is in the pending state right now it will take some time to launch now this instance if you see it is in the stop state uh, purposely i kept it in the stop state so that you know amazon will not charge me because the number of instances are running you will be charged for that in, in even in free tier they have a particular uh, time limit so if you are crossing that particular time limit then you will be charged so it's better whatever instances you are creating either you keep it on stopped or you terminate them if you want to terminate a particular instance you can just click here and you can go to instance state and terminate instance so terminate i'm terminating this particular instance right now because i don't need it i have already created one more instance with my own vpc and i'm going to work with this so i have terminated this instance so whatever instance you don't need please keep it terminated so that you don't get charged okay so my new instance is now up and running and if i see my instance details here if you see here or else you can just click on your instance id and you will see all the details here so see the state is still showing pending it will take some time to you know make it up and running and here if you can see this is what is your public uh, ip address this is your private ip address this is your public dns through which you can connect to your instance and the most important thing here is your vpc id so if you can see here it is using your uh, demo vpc now which is the custom vpc which you have created okay so and the subnet also it is using two subnets which is created in two different availability zones okay so and the role is i am role so all this details you can see from here even you can check your security groups uh, whatever uh, security groups you have created with this so 
everything you can see here you can check so the if you can see the uh, the ami which it is using is ubuntu and if you will go for security and if you will check this is what is the security group which we have created which is my security group and if you go and see the inbound rules right now it has three inbound rules okay for three different uh, protocols so that's it here we have seen how we can create our own instance in vpc now how to connect this uh, in, to this instance and do the further operations that we will see in the upcoming videos thank you